Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It is 7 a.m. 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning. You guys are probably like, what the heck? Why are you sleeping? I really was wondering that myself today, but today we're going to a horse show. Nothing is better than a horse show, not even sleeping. And that says a lot because I love sleeping. Just wanted to take a quick peek at my garden this morning after planting everything and watering it all. Almost all the limpy, wimpy things have really perked up. Obviously the bigger the plant, the longer it will take for it to perk up. But these ones, this one here, looked like it was really gonna die and it is perked right up. Everything is looking fabulous. I cannot wait to harvest this garden this year. When we put in a garden at our old farm, we just did it one year because we had so much going on. Yeah, we have so much more going on this year. And I still put in a bigger garden. Anyway, when we put in that garden, we had so many tomatoes. Like, you know those carts that you get, those things you get from the grocery store? Those carry things, like a basket that you get at the grocery store, those long things. I filled an entire, I filled two of those completely full with tomatoes after I harvested all of our tomatoes. Like, at the end of the season, like in October, when I couldn't take any more, and I couldn't use any more things from my garden, I still filled up two of those things. So that little tiny garden was so profitable and gave us so much produce. This garden is gonna be even better. So we are headed to a horse show and Gabby's driving. Hopefully we get there. My hair is touching the roof in her car. Yesterday we were in the car for four hours and I finished my book. So today I'm gonna crochet. I have a brand new baby, grandbaby, and I'm gonna crochet and make something new for her. Comment below if you're a passenger princess like me, what do you like to do when you're in the car for long road trips? I think I've asked that before. We are at a whole different horse arena, horse show that we've never been to before. It's a rated show. We are super excited. We are here to support our friend. And because it's a rated show, it's a bronze level show. So a little bit below the shows that Gabby showed. Well, we're checking it out because Sophie might get to show here this summer. So we're hoping to be at the next show, but we're checking this out. We're supporting our friends and we're gonna show you guys around a little bit. It's super cool here. There's three the riders. They have a hunter ring. They have a jumper ring. There's a warm up ring. There's another ring over there and another ring over there. So we're excited. We can't wait to cheer our friend on. So this is the hunter ring. The other one I showed you was actually just a warm up ring. And right behind is the warm-up ring. All right, she is already up there and raring to go. I'm not gonna show you the whole video because it's not my video to show, but we're here at a rated show and I'm so excited to see Kate go. All right, so we are home and uh, we're cleaning out Gabby's car. This is a requirement every time we drive in her car. She's incredibly <laughs> temperamental about her car and we get dust or dirt anywhere on her car. She's not happy. So every time we drive it, we have to wash it down, clean everything, make it, make it brand new again. Just one of those things, Ellie, out of that car. <laughs> What's weird is that when I was young, I was a perfectionist too. But I grew out of it. And I'm telling you, Gabby needs to grow out of it too. Look at that little spot right there. Do you guys see it? Other people might never notice it, but she cannot have a dirty car. So we spent this entire day, weekend away from home and it's Father's Day and poor Sam. Did you get the front? Yeah. And poor Sam did not get to spend the day doing nothing, which, yeah, is, exactly. which is his favorite thing. So I said he could have Father's Day again tomorrow. Do you want it again tomorrow? Probably. All right, we'll redo it over. It's gonna to be too hot to do anything. Tomorrow is gonna to be so hot. We'll do all the chores. We'll take care of the horses. You can just stay in bed. Well, I'll, do, I'll do my chores. All right, well tomorrow you can tell us and we'll do whatever you want, okay? Yeah. It is so gorgeous today. I We came home and we've just been working nonstop. Are you tired? 
Yeah, it's supposed to be my day off. I know. Yeah. I'm giving him another Father's Day. But you know what it says? It was so weird. On Mother's Day? What happened on Mother's Day? I couldn't have my day. Yeah, that's true. And then I had to have it another day. And it wasn't quite the same. But Sam's going to have Father Day, Father's Day tomorrow. Tomorrow or next weekend? What's your choice? Weekends are probably better, aren't they? All right, yeah. Wait, what's next? Well, Gabby's done school on Wednesday. True. Weekends are better. You can just rest. Do whatever you want next weekend. Saturday. Maybe. All right, he'll keep us posted. I did buy him a cake though. I do not know where Sophie is. I thought the girls were in the barn doing chores because we've been away all weekend. We've been doing chores late in the day when we get back. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys something. Um, some people came. Sam sold our trailer. You guys know the trailer that we keep in the barn? Every, he used to buy them all the time and then, oh, here comes the pig. And then fix them up and then sell them. And it took him a long time, but he finally got this one fixed up. So people came to look at the trailer and they bought it and they're coming to pick it up tomorrow. So say goodbye to our beloved trailer, but we haven't really used it since we moved and it's time to say goodbye. I'm excited. I'm excited to have this barn because on my list for this summer, I wanted to get this barn all cleaned up and fancy. So, all right, maybe not fancy, but you want to build a house in here? I mean, we could still sleep in here, camp in here, no problem. I mean, the bugs would be in here though. But anyway, say goodbye to the trailer. That wasn't gonna be my point though. My point was that the people that came used to live in the country and had a little girl and a little boy with them. And the little girl and the little boy wanted to go all over and see the goats and the horses and Posey Pig came and say, said hello to them and Ellie. But what they taught me when they were here, I don't even know how she saw it, but she said that this plant that's like a triangle here, see it? It is catnip. So she asked me if she could have a plant. I gave her a plant, a whole plant, but I might plant this in my garden, plant some of it in my garden. Here's another one. Is this the same? Yeah, this is one. So I might plant some of it in my garden, but I've been digging this stuff up all around the farm because it stinks. So I'm gonna take some in and show them to the cat and see what happens. You honestly have to pay so much money for this stuff. Like, it's not cheap. I'd like to transplant it. Oh, I must have dug this one up when I pulled up hers. Oh no. All my plants are super droopy now because they do that when they have to rebuild a root system. So I'm gonna water them. That makes me so sad. They looked so beautiful today. I've been cutting all this grass around the trees that Sam can't get with the lawnmower because tomorrow is supposed to be, tomorrow is supposed to be the beginning of a huge heat wave. I just want to get all the stuff done that I have to get done so I can not be working hard in the in the bad weather. So he's like coming towards me. Can you go open the chicken coop door? No. That thing's gonna attack me. What Every thing? What thing? The little white. I don't even see the little white thing. It's right there. Come on, it's, I'll go no, with you. He's strutting towards me. I'm not doing that. Catnip? Yeah. Stop, don't tell me I'm gonna sniff it. <laughs> sniff it. <laughs> yeah, it smells like it. Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near We've got a bar in the tent, it's 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left get in trouble again Let's talk Sophie, the boy goats are... Alright, let me help you first. You guys, everything is happening. So, see all this wood? Sam has it so that he can build some more stuff for the goats. But Sam, what we really want is a platform to get on our horses. So this is what Sophie does at 7 p.m. <laughs> so Sophie, oh, you got a bug in your eye. Sophie is obsessed with the bareback. I'm so happy about that. I've bareback before. I know, you've been loving it. I love it, it's so good for them. So we have a rule. It's actually so hot in the sun, but so cold in the shade. <laughs> we have a rule that the girls have to have somebody with them when they ride, just because you never know what can happen. I've seen so many times, Sophie's riding with friends. 
So we have a rule that they can't ride alone just because I've seen so many things happen. I really need to go save my goats because when they get locked out of their pasture, they can't get, they don't have access to water. Why are you there? How'd you get out? Come on. I don't know why Sam left this gate open. I watered my garden. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> Posey heard me. She's like, wait for me, mama. <laughs> I would really love to know. Look, he knows where to go. <laughs> I would love to know what you guys would do with the top part of that barn. Would you, would you put animals in it or would you clean it out and like use it for something else? Where's that little boy? Oh my goodness. I hear the rooster screaming. I hear the pigs snorting. I hear the goats baying. Come on. Come on, you little pig. It has been such a busy day, but it's been a glorious because busy days are my favorite days. But I don't know where that other little goat is. They think it's dinner time. It's not dinner time yet. I'm gonna put Posey in though. Pause. All right, there's a baby boy missing. Where is he? Um, this is odd. There he is. <laughs> I was just about to walk away and I heard him. Crisis averted. <laughs> Holy man, those days when you work so hard all day. I mean, we just watched a horse show in the morning, but we've been doing nothing but working since we got home. And then you just think you're gonna sit down, watch your kid ride, and the goats wanna be fed, so they cause so many problems. What? I almost fell. You almost fell? Yeah. Why? Because I go to the side with the truck. JC is my supervised parent. She was with friends. I know, I know that they're gonna fall sometimes, and I know that riding alone is something that's gonna happen eventually. My, my big concern is that they fall and need help after and nobody knows and they're left for a while. So that's the only reason I like to be here or at least I like to be like on my way out. Like go get on your horse and I'll be right there or anything can happen with horses. So it's just better for her to be safe, especially because she's still a child. She's got energy. <laughs> old and useless words what you said what i said that might have made it worse we're here again at the same spot where we kissed the first time i swear my pain is far away long